The Jiggles are back with Jiggle Jam, which is a Blender add-on designed to make adding Jiggle physics to your models much easier and faster. So it automates the creation of cloth-based proxy meshes that drive wobbly secondary motion of your characters and objects. Instead of setting up soft body or manual Jiggle rigs, the add-on generates simplified cage meshes tied to your model via Blender's cloth simulator, and the result, you will get instantly bouncy and jiggly motion on selected parts of your mesh, with collisions and deformations handled for you. So how can you do that with this add-on? Without further ado, let's jump right into it. Even on a simple test mesh, the workflow boils down to a few simple steps. Select your mesh and create a vertex group for the area that you want to jiggle. For example, a character's belly, ponytail, or Susan's monkey ears. Paint the weights for how much jiggle you want. Then pick a jiggle preset and hit generate. And voila, the Anno spawns a proxy cloth mesh and hooks everything up automatically. You can, for example, have a jiggling monkey head within minutes, complete with wobbly ears using the built-in presets. And I also appreciate that if the result wasn't quite right, you can just tweak some settings or white paint and hit generate again to override the old jiggle mesh. There are some basic mesh requirements to keep in mind, like the add-on works best on a single surface lowers mesh without work normals, as long as you fit it a reasonably clean mesh and have a general idea of cloud simulation basics. The add-on feels like plug and play, and the learning curve is really low. If you know how to add a modifier in Blender, you can handle Jiggle Gen without breaking a sweat. Under the hood, it leverages Blender Class Simulation with deliberately low resolution settings by default to reduce the calculation load. In practice, the Jiggle proxies it creates are simplified and can even be automatically decimated via the optional decimate modifier to lighten the burden. On a mid range PC, you can add a couple of jiggle areas and still scrub the timeline with only a minor slowdown. The performance will depend on your mesh complexity and how many jiggle parts that you want to stack up, but the add-on's design encourages keeping the simulation lightweight. Flexibility-wise, I was impressed with the level of control available. Because it uses Blender class physics, you can fine-tune a ton of parameters like stiffness, damping, gravity, influence, collision settings, and so on. JiggleGen actually exposes a simulation settings panel where you can adjust all the familiar cloth settings before you even generate the simulation, giving you total control to get the behavior just right. And this is super handy for dialing in subtle effects. Another big plus is collision handling. The add-on can generate a complementary collision mesh for your non-jiggly parts, meaning your jiggling belly or baggy sleeves will collide against the rest of the body without poking through. Generally speaking, the add-on comes with a few standout features that really elevate its usefulness for animators. First of all, there is a best generation system, which is a lifesaver for complex characters. You can queue up multiple vertex groups or objects and generate all their jiggle setups in one go. For example, imagine a fully decked out character. You could set the hair, earrings, breastplate straps, and even that optional bottle on their belt to all juggle at once with a single bat generated. The animal will create individual simulation messages for each part and manage them separately, each neatly named and organized. Another highlight is that JiggleGen allows you to save your favorite Jiggle settings in addition to presets and reuse them easily. Plus, since it uses Blender's native preset system, you don't have to deal with any weird external preset files because it is all stored cleanly in Blender. The UI also has some clever design elements. For example, I like the one-click bake all dynamics button at the top of the panel, which bakes all the jiggle simulations in one fell swoop for final animation export. There's also a convenient juggle for pose and reset mode, so you can switch your jiggle meshes to rest position when editing, then back to pose for animating, and even the button to copy cloth settings from one jiggle mesh to another. After spending some quality time with Jiggle Gen, I would say it absolutely delivers on its promises when it comes to hassle-free jiggle physics. And if you're an animator who frequently create character animations and use these extra layers of animation, you will definitely need this add-on. And there you have it, guys. If you're interested in this add-on, you will find all the necessary links in the description.
Also, if you like this video, please give it a thumbs up and subscribe to this channel. Thank you guys very much for watching, and I will see you in the next one.